And for more on this, we are now being joined by Ambassador Walker Stansel, former German ambassador to China and Japan. He's joining us live on the show from Berlin. Thank you so much for taking our time and joining us here on We On Ambassador. You're welcome. Now, Ambassador, German Defense Minister has said that the leaked audio is a part of Russia's information war against the West. I want to seek your assessment on this. Do you think the, that the recording was used to destabilize the West? Yes, certainly, and uh, mainly Germany. And I'll come to that in a second. Uh, thanks first for laying out the problem as uh, well as you just did. I just want to touch upon uh, some facets there. The first is, of course, the basic question. Will Germany provide the Taurus missiles? And the Chancellor has argued no, because it would need German experts to go to Ukraine, which would mean uh, German boots on the ground. And that would make Germany a participant, actually, in the fighting, in the war. And this would be, would be out mm. of the question. The second is, uh, uh, the wiretap success of Russia, I mean, this is not hidden. Uh, Radio uh, Moscow and uh, Russia today have uh, displayed uh, a great success and they have celebrated the success of their intelligence efforts. Of course, it is an enormous success uh, for Russia and the questions that come from there are, is this the only wiretap? It's very probable that others, mm. even maybe the Chancellor, are being listened to. And that not only compromises uh, Germany's security, military, defense security as such, but also it touches upon the confidence, the trust that Germany's uh, allies, NATO allies, the United States, have in German ability to keep things uh, confidential that need to be kept confidential, to make up for that. That is actually the, the uh, basis of that information war. To make up for that will take a lot of work and a lot of time. And thirdly, right. domestically, our chancellor is weakened. 73% of Germans want him to agree to send the missiles, Taurus missiles, to Ukraine. Uh, and that is, means he represents with his carefulness, which had the support of most of Germans so far. Now he's losing in popularity and that against a very difficult backdrop. Because after all, I mean, uh, the German armies, Hitler's armies attacked the Soviet Union, right. 24 million Russians died. And so Germany has spent decades uh, to come to a peaceful, good right, relationship with Russia. Right, I was just and coming. Just well, just a second, because because uh, Russia is playing on that feeling in Germany. You just mentioned Medvedev. Well, at uh, this uh, conference where he spoke, he also said, we are back to the great war where we must say death to the German fascists. That's as far as we already mm -hmm. have come. Right, Ambassador, I was just coming to the point you made there, that how concerned are the NATO allies regarding Russia espionage activities? Uh, my question to you that if this could just be the tip of the iceberg. Yes, certainly. I mean, if Russia feels sure enough of itself to have this displayed on uh, radio and social media, then it shows it wants to demonstrate uh, to what it is able to do. And that concerns the Chancellor the Ministry of Defense, definitely, but also the talks they have with our allies, with uh, uh, the United States, with other NATO allies, and that uh, hurts the relationship that we have inside NATO. Right, Ambassador Stansel, thank you so much for taking our time and joining us here on Beyond with your insight. You're welcome. Thank you.